Guess what, guys? See that? 100 miles. I've officially hiked 100 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail. This right here is precious cargo. Mm. My last liter of water. And we, I think we have water in one point or like two miles. If not, it's 20 miles. So we'll see. Hopefully have water soon. alone do you see other people and the answer is you generally or at least I specifically um, and probably a large majority of the people I've seen hike uh, mostly alone um, some of the time you hike with other people um, but for example um, the last three nights um, I've camped with my buddy Skippy and um, we have crisscrossed back and forth um, you know sometimes we take breaks together um, sometimes we eat at the same time or we'll meet up at a water um, supply and hang out there for a little bit and so, you know, this part, the actual hiking on the trail part is largely done mostly alone. However, Skippy is like um, 30 yards ahead of me, maybe 50, um, you know, and then if I stop to do some videography of a beautiful mountain, then, you know, he might get a little ahead of me. Um, then he might stop and so you kind of see the people that are kind of in your same ability hiking ability fairly often um, you also you might have people that are faster than you but then they take um, a day off it's called a zero at like a resupply they take a zero meaning they don't hike any miles that day or they take a Nero which is near zero so they just hike a few miles into town and then stay there the whole day um, so even though a large portion is just of this is just quietly walking um, you do have people around you and you can make friends with with groups and you can kind of make a little more effort to stay in their general area you don't need to stop when they stop and go when they go but you'll likely see each other at um, at the end of the day in the morning water supplies and uh, in uh, towns for resupply yes please <laughs>
did just pass mile marker 100, awesome. Um, eight miles until Warner Springs. Um, I just went through a really small town here. Um, I mean, I didn't go buy it, but it, um, it's just a few miles from here. They have a retreat, I guess, where it's kind of like a hiker hostel. Um, and it's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm realizing quickly that a lot of these towns that we pass through are super, super small, not really any accommodations. Um, and I've heard the same thing about Warner Springs, which is exactly why I got a uh, resupply sent there because um, buying food is a little challenging there, I guess. Um, so I'm currently thinking that I probably won't be um, taking a zero at Warner Springs. Um, uh, Idlewild is the next town, and I guess that's like a legit, legit little town um, with like hotels and um, tourist stuff and things like that. And so it's pretty. Um, there's a pretty high probability, um, nearly positive probability that I'll get a hotel there. It has been challenging keeping everything charged. Right now, my phone is at 20%. Everything else is dead um, besides my tracker. Um, and so uh, I can get to Idlewild in like three or four days. Um, in Warner Springs, I'm gonna kinda try and see if I can, uh, if I can get my stuff charged at maybe a restaurant there. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, we'll see, but I mean, I, I need to get it charged somewhere, so I'm going to definitely beg around, see if I can get something charged so that for the next three days I can do some vlogging still, and I'm pretty confident that I should, that I'll be able to, we'll see though. starting to get pretty exciting to see the mileage that you're doing and to realize that you can do 20 miles in a day um, which means you can hit you know destinations a little quicker um, however sometimes you just need to slow down and take a spa session as I'm doing here. It's all I had. You guys go was all I had You took what's mine Found a cute little horny toad Oh yes Isn't he the cutest? I used to have one of these when I was like eight and it was three-legged and then my mom said it escaped the tank but the tank was sealed tight, so mom, I know it died. It's 4.16. I've been walking for 10 hours. Today, I am at 20 miles or so. Um, and oh, my left leg hurts all over. My right leg hurts pretty much all over, but particularly on my pulled tendon. My left knee makes it so that I can't go down hills very easily. Um, my hip flexors hurt. My right one particularly is sending little jolts down my leg. Um, my back is sore. Oh. Everything hurts and I want to stop, but there's a town in a couple miles and they have a bar and grill thing 
which means they have warm food and probably sugar. My doctor is there waiting for me, Dr. Pepper. Oh. It hurts. It hurts. I'm hoping that it's just like a, this is the pain of walking so much hurt, not like there is something wrong here. Um, I'll find out eventually, I guess. <laughs>